Okay, so today we're gonna be talking about love. I know, I know, now that I have a girlfriend, I think I'm all there and I feel like I can give everybody advice. That's the approach I don't wanna take. I don't want you to think I'm being cocky or anything like that. But for the past like six, seven years, I've been single and it's not like I never got the opportunity to like be in a relationship and stuff like that, but I was just never ready. A funny story is that me and Jeanette were actually gonna go out at one time, but at the time I just didn't feel ready and I just didn't wanna give someone like a half ass relationship. I just wanted to be like actually ready. So now let's go ahead and fast forward a couple years. Now let's open with tip number one. I definitely recommend you working on yourself before you get in a relationship because I feel like it's not fair for the other person in the relationship if you haven't worked on yourself and you actually figure out how to do self-love because at the time I was just self-deprecating myself because I just had all these bills and I was always stressed out and I wouldn't say I had like an identity crisis but let's go ahead and use that I just felt like I didn't know who I was like I was so mad because I wanted to drop out of school I just wanted to make millions of dollars and I was just upset that I saw other people who didn't go to college that were making like decent money per week and I was over here working with my dad and going to school and just not being being happy at all so in that scenario I just felt like it wasn't right for me to like have a relationship and stuff like that but as the years went on there was other scenarios where I could have like been in a relationship but there was just times where like I just knew it wasn't right and I just I don't know I just didn't feel like I couldn't be myself with that person and I feel like that's another thing that really matters but see it's like that one quote that a lot of people say right person wrong time I just feel like it was a wrong time in 2019 I just was not mentally there and I feel like it's just not right for Jeanette to go through that and look at us now four years later we're over here just like we finally got in a relationship and stuff and now we're in the scenario where it's right person, right time. You know what I mean? I had to pull the trick. One thing that I'm starting to realize about myself is that I'm a freaking workaholic. Now that I'm vlogging and like just pumping out content like crazy like I used to, I just feel like everything's a little bit more normalized and I just feel a lot happier. Me and Jeanette have actually been talking about that because whenever I started like vlogging again, she's like, hey, you just seem like a lot more energetic and stuff. And I was like, yeah, I feel a lot more energetic. You know what I mean? And that's actually another thing we actually practice in our relationship. We've like come to terms that it's really important to like still follow your passions in a relationship. I say this all the time, but like if you want to freaking be a ballerina and you're in a relationship I feel like you should definitely get the love and support from your partner to become a freaking ballerina if you want to Vice versa if Jeanette wanted to become a ballerina I freaking give her all the love and support for her to become a ballerina because the thing is that whenever you're like truly in love You're just always like no matter what it is if your freaking partner wants to become a youtuber You're gonna support them You know what I mean because you believe in them and that's just part of their identity So of course you're gonna freaking support what they do and that's why I'm so blessed because I've been wanting to become a youtuber for such a long time and Jeanette supports me and she's always like pushing me to just like keep pushing out content and reach my freaking dream okay so I just came back from my voyage and I actually came with a little surprise so in this video what's better than getting an advice from me than getting advice from a, a nice woman herself getting her perspective well he had a lot of potential like I don't know when we were friends I had a lot of like girlfriends and guy friends and I never saw anything more than just friends with my guy friends but with him I don't know like he always checked up on me he uh, was always there for me when like I was sad or down like he was he never failed to like make me laugh and make my day better and I don't know like he was just like checked off everything like even when we were just friends so like I don't know I never really thought that he was never boyfriend material like my other guy friends they would ask me like oh you wanna work out I would be like yeah no and then when he asked me I like I actually want to say yes because I don't know it's just like we've always had that kind of vibe like we're always like really like I don't know it's just a connection and uh, he also made me feel really comfortable because I knew his intentions like some guys just want like my body or like they just want to just have a one night thing like I know that he was there for more than just that so that's another really good reason why the way he would treat his mom was really good I don't like when guys don't treat their mom really good or like the same way that because that's the first woman in their life and if you treat her bad it's like how are you gonna treat me like I don't know that's a really bad red flag right there I don't know I just feel like yeah you might say yeah he's a mama's boy but to an extent like you can be like good to your mom but not like to that extent that you have to do everything your mom says and like it affects your relationship but like if he treats his mom good he's gonna treat you even better sometimes so I just feel like it's a big one too so another good thing that we just collaborated on is being friends first so I feel like a lot of people just rush into a relationship and they don't really know each other we had the freaking pleasure of being <laughs> friends for like 20 years and we've known each other since diapers not just kidding completely a joke we've known each other for like six years so anyway the thing that you really have to realize like with your future partner is that you you have to kind of 
establish a friendship because one thing is that sometimes these people just kind of like they date while they're in the relationship versus dating because the thing is that when you date you're getting to know each other you know what i mean that's very important you have to know each other before you get in the relationship and i feel like some some couples just like literally get together without even really knowing each other. They don't even know what their favorite foods are or even their middle name. We basically knew all about each other and that just created chemistry as well. So it's just helped us a lot. Like most of the time now, I know when she's mad because I've known her for such a long time that I know like when she's mad or like upset or sad or like in her head about something or whenever she's like really happy and stuff you know, like that, you know what I mean? It's just an upper hand that basically being friends first really helps. With the future love of your life, with the girlfriend that you're trying to get, y'all need to be best friends first and then you know what i mean like i'm not telling you to like have a six-year friendship with someone i'm just telling you for the first two weeks that y'all are dating really get to know each other and or maybe even a month try to really get to know each other and that'll help a lot okie dokie guys so that's gonna end the video here we really appreciate y'all for watching like subscribe and we'll see you on the next one peace